Du har ju varit gjort det många gånger för. Ja. Första gången jag har stått framför en kamera. Ja, jag har säkert inte varit med på mycket. Yes. <laughs> Sondra Gutormsen, 520. Vad säger ni? Nej, jag tycker det var jättebra. Jag har, jag har bra känsla. Jag började inte så bra i uppvärmningen, men så blev det lite bättre efter mitt första hopp. Så var jag klart att jag ska åka till finalen. Så ja, det känns bra. Ja, det blir bra final. Så nu kör vi? Ja, nu kör vi. <laughs> That's exactly right, Sondra Gutormsen. Nu kör vi. And for our English viewers, that means now we go or now it's time. And that's exactly what it is. It's uh, time to wish a welcome to day two of the under 23 European Athletics Championships here in uh, Gävle. And we will start with uh, Sondre Guttomsen, our Norwegian uh, pole vaulter, who uh, made it uh, to the final uh, yesterday. And this is what he said after the big qualification. So Lee Thompson, one big uh, clearance at 5:20, and now you're ready for the final. How was it? Uh, it was, it was, it was good. Um, not perfect, but I don't think pole vault. You never do it perfect, but I mean, everyone has an equal chance in the final, and it, yeah, it'll be interesting. A lot of people see you as uh, one of the big favorites for a medal. Is uh, the qualification then a lot of pressure? Yeah, I, I definitely think it's a pressure in the qualification because if you're supposed to make it to the final, you can kind of only only fail and not make it so making it is kind of just what you have to do like regardless so yeah what kind of answers did you get today it felt good my body body's fit and i've been having some good jumps in the past couple of weeks so yeah i think i think i'm ready to put up a big mark and hopefully i see some best and yeah we'll just have to see how how far that can take me in the final how do you see the final now well it's 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 good everyone who's who's the top it made it made it to the final so I think any of the three or four guys who's jumped 5-7 in the past can, can take home the win. It's just, yeah, just see who's, who's best on the day. Does the pit fit you? Yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's definitely a good place. And I'm, I'm used to these Swedish Nordic conditions with wind and a little cold. So, yeah, I think I have an advantage. Good luck. Thank you. Ah, uh, Sondrige Thompson is obviously one of the gold favorites in the men's pole vault and he is a Nordic star. And from one male Nordic star will go to a female Nordic star, Danish uh, Anne Emily Müller, who is uh, running the 3000 meter steeplechase. And she had the fastest time of all the runners yesterday, 10.01, and she is the big favorite to win the gold. You just won your preliminary heat. Uh, how was the feeling? Yeah, it was good. Uh, now I'm, I'm getting started, and yeah, it's good to get in. And uh, yeah, it was a slow start, uh, a couple of slow laps, and then you picked up the, uh, the pace on the lead. Uh, can you walk us through your race tactics? Um, it, it was just about to get through uh, in the easiest way, um, and I just uh, yeah tried to go with the front. Uh, whoever took. Uh, took the front um, and then yeah, I just uh, followed her and uh, yeah, it was, it was right. And you're coming here to Gjevle as a huge favorite uh, with 25 seconds to number two on this year's ranking. Uh, 
how are you, how are you actually feeling right now? Are you looking forward to a gold medal, or do you still see this as work to be done? Um, yeah, it's work to be done. It's always work to be done. You never know uh, who's in the race, and if they can. Be, I mean, uh, you just have to have the same mindset as as any other race. Um, so yeah, I'm still focused and determined. So yeah. But coming with a European uh, youth record, uh, you must have a lot of self-confidence as well. Um, yeah, I feel alright. Um, I've had uh, some, yeah, I've got good training for uh, the, the competition and the championship, so I feel feel good. I will uh, wish you the best of luck uh, on Saturday's final, uh, and thank you for your time. Thank you. And we also wish the best of luck to Anna Amelia Muller on uh, Saturday when she is going to try to win the gold in the 3,000 meter steeplechase here in Jävla. And now we've got some great guests in the studio, two Norwegian guys. One who made it to the sixth place, now Vegilino Os, in the 10,000 meter yesterday. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you very much. That was a great accomplishment for me, so I'm uh, very pleased with that. Absolutely. Yeah, it was perfect. And then uh, we got a guy who has all also done a great accomplishment today. You made it to the final in the 800 meters. How was that? Marcus yeah. Einam. Yeah, it's a good feeling, you know. Now my focus is on the final and I'm trying to do the preparations as best as I can. So I'm feeling good. Very good. We'll talk a lot about that later. First, uh, we'll now see a clip from the 10,000 meter uh, where uh, Narve Gilje Noros made it uh, and uh, had his uh, sixth place. There it is, the clip. Um, Narve, how was it to run this? It was uh, very, very special. It is uh, one of the highlights in my entire life to run in the under-23 European Championships. It was perfect conditions. It was uh, chilly, cold, uh, little wind, and also the pace with about uh, 70 rounds was uh, perfect for me. So I just kept up with the group and finished uh, all right, I would say. Yeah, you, you, you did, you did. You, we just saw that Jimmy Gassier from France uh, was winning it. And you, when it was six rounds, uh, six laps left, you were in the lead. What was your thoughts then? I felt good, so maybe I was a little bit uh, too fast to go up in the lead, but uh, I got the field stretched out a little bit and secured uh, the top ten. So I think it was a, a good move, and I also got to show, uh, show off in front of the European crowd, so that felt very good. <laughs> and Marcus, uh, your teammate here, he had a PB with one minute. How impressed are you? Yeah, I was at the stadium when he did it, and I was uh, cheering for him and uh, he also gave us a thumbs up uh, somewhere in the <laughs> throughout the race so he's, he's truly a showman and it, it was uh, yeah it was fun to watch how is that possible to make a pb with one minute uh, when i first took the standards it wasn't quite a top race i ran most of the race uh, solo and also i had a big uh, competition group here and uh, i am in much better shape now and this is uh, uh, the time when uh, the form is on its top, so this is where I want to perform, and I managed to do so. So it uh, it is outstanding for me. Are you a showman? Uh, more and more, <laughs> I would say. When I feel good, I wanna I wanna show I feel good and make some moves, uh, get the crowd with me, so <laughs> get the adrenaline boost. So I think it makes me run faster. Absolutely. We were looking at this from the stands, Marcus, and, and we kind of felt that this maybe was the breakthrough of uh, Narva as an, as an athlete. Hmm. Yeah, I believe, uh, believe Narva is uh, a man for the future in the Norwegian <laughs> athletics, and I, I think he's uh, working very hard, and he, uh, he has the long-term goals that he's working towards, so I think we'll see more of him later. And afterwards, uh, after the, the race yesterday, Narva, you actually were a bit touched. Yeah, I, were. I, I didn't think I was going to run under 29 minutes. That is a future goal, maybe next year, maybe the year after. So to see all the work I've put in and see the results, uh, I was a bit touched, I, I must admit so. <laughs> I was. That is sports, that is athletics, and that's yeah. nice, that's nice. And Marcus, um, you uh, ran the semifinals today, 800 meters. Um, yeah. You made it through. Uh, did you think you were able to do that in beforehand? Uh, yeah, I try to believe in myself as much as I can and uh, I think that if I'm going to do it, I have to believe that I can do it. 
uh, but at the same time I know that uh, everyone wants to do it so one thing is to say that you're going to do it but, but to do it is an entirely different thing so so it's it wasn't easy but uh, I'm, re I'm very pleased with uh, yeah that I went on to the, to the final and the point there that you bring into the table that it's easy to say it but it's not that easy to do it was very clear today with with the big home favorite Andreas Kramer who didn't make it that shows that it it doesn't come easy yeah yeah I felt a bit sorry for him after the race because I know uh, he was a crowd favorite and he also is the defending uh, yeah he's the defending the title as well so uh, yeah it was sad to see him uh, go out this early but uh, I think he'll come back stronger yeah in Doha maybe how, uh, what do you think about Marcus today making the final? Uh, it was a very good performance. As you said, it's not uh, all of the best athletes that goes through. And I uh, absolutely uh, thought that Marcus was going to go to the finals. But he did it and I am very, very proud of him to do, to do so. And I think he <laughs> can perform very well in the, in the final as well. How important is it to, to be proud of each other on the team? Like you obviously are now, guys. Yeah, yeah I think uh, if we work together as a team and we try to cheer on each other and work uh, yeah, together, then I think we can achieve uh, much more than we could if we just had focus on only ourselves, you know. Okay, two final questions then. Um, Nova, now what? Now what after this breakthrough? Uh, I'm going to focus on uh, senior championships, first of all the Norwegian championships and then maybe do some fast races uh, in the half marathon in the, in the fall. And then uh, the European championships in Paris next year would be my, my main goal. So I am looking very forward to put down the work uh, once again, absolutely. And then for you Marcus, the next thing is obviously the final. Yeah. And what about that? Yeah, so now that's my focus, my focus in, on the final. and. Uh, uh, I'm trying to, uh, as I said earlier, I'm trying to prepare for that as good as I can, and uh, and then we'll see after that. The, the season is still early on, so yeah, uh, hopefully I'll perform good on uh, Sunday. Good luck to both of you, both mm -hmm. in the short and the long term, and yeah. uh, thank you so much for coming in the studio. Thank We're you. We're going, uh, going to take a look now on a Swedish girl who made it uh, to the final in the triple jump, uh, Emilie Nieman. Bon set. So Emily, 13.42 today and you made it to the finals in triple jump. How do you feel? I feel very good. Uh, I didn't expect to uh, go to the final at one jump, but it felt really good in this jump, so I'm really happy. Can you explain the jump? Was it perfect or how do you explain it? Uh, it was far from perfect. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of work on, uh, expe especially the last jump, um, uh, the last step. Uh, so I have some more centimeters maybe to climb in uh, the final. Uh, you've done several results around 13.30 this year. You have improved in several jumps. Uh, how do you explain that? Uh, I think I have trained more triple jump. Uh, this uh, season, uh, so I think that's why. Finally, how how's gonna be to compete in the final? Very funny. Uh, it's a really nice crowd, uh, so it will be really nice. Thank you and congratulations. Yes, and now we're going to take a look at uh, the high jump with uh, Bianca Salming. And uh, we're going to see the pictures here now from uh, Bianca Salming uh, jumping 178. She's uh, clearing that uh, height and making it uh, to the final. We'll see it here in uh, replay and it is a good clearance by the Swedish uh, girl. And then uh, we're going to take a look at uh, the Danish girl, uh, Rikke Andersen, who uh, didn't make it uh, to the final. This is uh, her jump on uh, 168. Rikke Andersen, uh, jumping high jump in uh, the rainy and cold weather here in uh, Sjævle. Uh, how was the feeling out on the field today? It was very cold, but... It's how it is in the 
in Sweden, I guess, and in Denmark. So I used, I'm a little bit used to it, I guess, but it's never fun. And uh, we saw uh, f three uh, jumps on uh, the height, uh, one meter and 73, uh, which was uh, close, but uh, no cigar. Uh, are you a little bit disappointed right now? Yes, of course I'm disappointed because I actually didn't have a chance to go to the finals with in this weather, but I can't do anything about it now, so I just have to go back practice and try again next time. And uh, you, you still have a big smile on your face right now uh, talking with me. Uh, how uh, is your whole Xiaole uh, and the uh, under 23 championship experience uh, until now? It's very good. It's my, it's the biggest competition I have ever been to, so it's fun to be in. And it was actually my year, what I was training for all this year. So I'm happy for it. <laughs> it's always nice to be happy. Thank you for your time and congratulations on your result. Thank you. So Bianca Salming just qualified for the high jump final uh, while doing uh, the multi event as well. Uh, how uh, how did that work for you? Uh, I, mean, I was so cold and so nervous. I was like, I, I just want to make it to the final, so it was worth it to just do the both. So I was very happy. And uh, you needed three attempts to qualify for the final in uh, the last uh, uh, jump. Uh, was it because you were tired uh, doing a long jump as well? I was not tired, it was just a struggle because I couldn't, I was so cold, I couldn't feel my legs, you know, because I couldn't be under the roof because I have to run forward, so I was, I'm completely wet, so, yeah. And uh, you still have uh, two events left in the multi-event, uh, are you gonna uh, finish it today? Yeah, I'm gonna finish, I have javelin now, so, uh, now, so that's why I'm a bit in a hurry. Thank you so much uh, and go and enjoy yourself. Uh, and then we're going to look ahead on uh, this afternoon session. We have a lot of um, highlights uh, coming up uh, this afternoon. And uh, maybe the biggest one is uh, the 100 meter men, where uh, Henrik uh, Larsson did uh, a great race uh, yesterday. He ran uh, 10.45 in the preliminaries. And uh, here he's um, doing a great race in the semifinals as well. Henrik is uh, passing the line on 10.50. So uh, we really look uh, forward to see uh, Swedish uh, Henrik Larsson in uh, the final this afternoon. And now we're going to hear from him after the semifinals. Uh, Henrik Larsson, two heats today, two wins for you. Uh, what do you say about your running? Uh, I feel fine, you know, having two victories from today. It's a really good confidence boost for tomorrow, so I'm really, really pleased with it. What do you say about your running? I mean, a lot of wind out there. How does it feel? Uh, it's fine. You know, it's the same for everyone, but of course, it's it's affecting all of us. You know, none, no one is really running really fast, and it's it's just unfortunate with the with the temperature and the wind. But it's nothing that I can really affect, so I don't think I'm gonna think about it too much anymore. I mean, tomorrow you got the home field, you made it to the final as you wished for. Uh, what's your goal picture for tomorrow? My goal picture is uh, just crossing the finish line first. That's all, I, that's all I, I'm going to focus on. Just, just getting there first. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Marcus Thompson, 10 weeks since back surgery. And now you're here qualifying easily to the final with almost 20 meters. How is that possible? Well, I've been training hard the past what you say, like three and a half, four weeks normally. Uh, and I've been really motivated to, to throw far hair and compete here and do well here. Uh, so I, I did my part today, I qualified. I'll just have to see what happens tomorrow. According to, to the results you have before the back surgery, you're really a medal favorite here. Do you see yourself as that now? Well, yeah, I think I could be a medal favorite. Uh, if it happens, we see tomorrow, I will certainly go for it. Uh, I think, like, I know I'm capable of it. I just need to hit it. What will your mindset be before the final tomorrow? Well, I got nothing to lose anymore. So I'm just going to go in there, have fun. going to do my best. I'm going to throw hard and scream loud. Uh, I'm just going to show that I'm, I'm, the, I'm the boss. That easy? Yeah. And that hard? Of course. What do you think it will take to, to take a medal or uh, do what you want tomorrow? I think medal 
probably around 2020, 2030 maybe. Uh, I know the guys are in good shape, been throwing far, so uh, I think like first place is going to be really far. So we just have to see tomorrow. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, Max, you've just done the uh, qualification rounds here at uh, 110 meter hurdles, uh, and you made a qualification. What do you say? Uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, did really good first five, six hurdles, and I hit one pretty hard here with my ankle. And I, yeah, it affected me a lot, but overall I'm happy. Yeah. How was it out there? It was a tough race. Yeah, the, the wind is really tough, but uh, I felt good, and I think it's going to go a lot faster tomorrow. Yeah. And what do you say about your time, 14.22? It's okay. In this wind, it's okay. But I'm very happy with my first five hurdles, so I'll take that with me for tomorrow. Yeah. And what are you hoping for this uh, championship? I'm hoping to reach the final. Uh, I think I can do it, so just do my best tomorrow and hope for it. Yeah. And the European Championship home field feels nice? Yeah, it feels really good. I like the, the track here, and yeah, it's nice, so it's really good. All right, thank you, congrats. Thanks. Just yes, by uh, listening to Henrik, uh, Marcus and Max, it's so easy to look forward to this uh, afternoon uh, session. That was it for uh, today's uh, magazine. Thank you for uh, watching and uh, watch us tomorrow at the same time, at the same place. Enjoy the afternoon session.